Hello and welcome to another episode of Chewing the Brew. Today I'll be talking about or exploring the Bodhisattva India Pale Ale. This is a pretty well-known uh, beer out of Georgetown Brewing in Seattle. I generally have seen it on a lot of shelves and I understand or the, the, the feeling I get about it is that it is a, a, a good example of the craft. Widely, uh, easily found uh, in a lot of places and generally respected. Like if you ask someone to bring over, uh, to bring over beer, there's a decent chance that you'll be seeing one of these if they're an IPA person. So this is not a hazy IPA. This is a West Coast IPA, I understand, which means it's gonna be more of the straight up bitterness versus the, the milkshake or the hazy, um, you know, real tropical hazy that you might see elsewhere. This is just a bog standard IPA. So let's see what it's like. Ah, pineapple. Pineapple's a real strong first note. Uh, and then uh, maybe a bit of grapefruit. Definitely some orange, some citrus. Let's see what else we get from the cup here. Uh, okay, so it is, even though it is not a hazy IPA, it is still um, quite opaque. Uh, the head is, it's decent. I mean, it's not overflowing, so I like that, but it's there, so. Um, a lot of the aromas you get when you first pour beer are actually from the, the bubbles of the head uh, popping and exploding and, and releasing their, their esters and phenols, all, the, all the, the smelly things into the air. Uh, so uh, a good head can be part, is a significant part of what your beer smells like. So definitely pineapple. Uh, maybe not grapefruit, maybe just straight up orange. Smells pretty tasty. Smells like a, a decent IPA. What is that on the back? Hmm. The, okay, so the pineapple juice definitely continues into the flavor. What you smell is what you get with this beer. That's really nice. Um, sometimes you want that journey. The, the nose says one thing and the mouth says, woo, we're gonna start there, but we're gonna go elsewhere. The Bodhisattva, it tastes like what it smells like. And it's a pretty consistent flavor throughout. As it fades, you get into more of the like bitter orange peel, you know, less of the sweetness there balancing things out, and it's just more just the, the hop um, bitterness that's the finish, which is that's pretty typical in an IPA. So it's not unexpected, certainly not unpleasant. Um, but it definitely gets into like a an orange peel um, or, a, or a grapefruit peel kind of bitterness, and uh, it's really nice. I know you're not supposed to use the word nice to describe food because that doesn't help you. What does nice taste like? I have pleasant feelings regarding the smell and the taste of this beer. So it tastes nice. Um, but unless you know have my taste buds, you haven't the faintest clue what that means. Um, yeah, so this, get, this is not gonna win any awards for the bitterest beer of the century. It's not a race to the bottom or the top or any place. It is a good example of a middle of the road, well-crafted, balanced exploration of what hops and malt and water and yeast together can produce inside the cup. That is the magic of beer. And I like that. I like that a lot. And that is why you will find this on a lot of regular shelves and a lot of cupboards and a lot of refrigerators because it's a good example of the craft. If I needed to keep six pack of IPA, <laughs> so um, I think my problem, I'm always chasing the next interesting thing, but at the same time, I've, I've recognized that having the, the standards, you know, the, the things you come back to is a good thing too. 
I don't know whether my super crazy caramel mushroom weed beer is gonna pair with the roast chicken we have for dinner. Sometimes you just want that Sam Adams Boston Lager. Sometimes you just want that, I mean, Coors Banquet or Miller High Life. Or um, for me, I, I like my Saison. So sometimes I just want my, my um, is it Great Divide that does Colette? I think it's Great Divide that does Colette. Sometimes I just want my Colette. Um, and sometimes Bodhisattva is just what you need. It's, it's a great balanced, uh, it's not punching, the, punching you in the face. It's not slapping you. It's tasting like you would expect it to taste. It's playing the role that it is designed to play, and it's doing a good job of it. So this has been the Bodhisattva India Pale Ale by Georgetown Brewing Company. And as far as bog standard IPAs go, it's a good one. This has been Chewing the Brew.